Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of products that I got a few months ago. Let me talk about the brand first. The brand is called Formula 10.006. And my toner that I got looks like this. This is the So Totally Clean Everyday Cleanser Sensitive Formula. I actually got this last summer. So this one I had for a while and I also had the Seriously Shine Free Moisturizer. I've also had that for a while because as you can tell like I have oily skin so it's like more of a, a clear consistency and it keeps me matte. It has aloe vera and bamboo in it so I absolutely loved it. So I'm pretty familiar with the brand. I've used it for a little bit. They're pretty reasonably priced. When I went to Ulta I, got, I was buying them buy one get one free even when they're not on sale they're around seven to ten dollars for each item which is not really bad considering like some of the products that I have bought for skin I recently bought were these four items I got a cleanser a face mask some makeup remover wipes and then another sunscreen so here we have the makeup wipes and the sunscreen and then we have the face mask and the face wash okay so I love face masks so let me talk about that one first I am a fan of face masks I really love face masks so much maybe it's because I have oily skin so it just like pulls out all of the oils all of the dirt like all the impurities you usually can feel them working I love mud masks man like a good mud mask will really take care of your skin compared to like a peel off mask I'm not really fans of peel off masks but I'll use them but a mud mask will do it every single time so I definitely wanted to try this one they have a couple of others that I would like to try but I can't really like think of their names right now one of them either has strawberries or pineapples in it which I'm allergic to so I can't use that one unfortunately but this one I could use so I was excited and the description says this super cleansing detox mask cleanses impurities for a clearer brighter complexion the energy of oranges recharges while sea salt cleanses is and bergamot balances your face will notice the difference and I definitely think that my face has noticed the difference um, I have used this all of these products together actually so I'll wash my face with this first and then I'll use the face mask afterwards. I usually only do it like once or twice a week because you don't want to like do too much to your skin. As an oily skin person, if you do too much to your skin and take too many um, natural moisturizers out of your skin, you're just going to be oilier, which is a struggle. Or your skin is going to produce more oil. Let me say that more correctly. Okay, so yes, love this. I would definitely recommend it. And they actually last me a while. But like I said, I only use it like once a week. And I know it's like pretty small, but it does the job. And I usually keep them for a really long time. It usually takes me a while to run it out, run out of it, because I have like these two moisturizers also that I'll get to in a second. And they usually last me like a good minute before I have to replace them again. Okay, so I started with the mud mask first, which is not really technically in like chronological wash routine order but whatever and now I have the best face for daily foaming cleanser awesome I love it okay it has passion fruit and green tea in it and it says this fresh foaming gel cleanser washes away oil and impurities for a sparkling clear comp complexion green tea and chamomile pacify while passion fruit pa balances the skin your skin looks clean clear and healthy every day and on the back it says formula 10.0.6 excels at perfecting troublesome young skin with ingredients that work created by a chemist in 1933 the current range now includes skincare products specifically designed to promote clear healthy skin which is why i really like that brand um for the most part they are pretty spot on when it comes to their ingredients and they seem to be like pretty natural for the most part which is good um, I don't really like using a lot of chemicals on my skin I'll probably do another video later when I talk about 
my skin issues and like acne prone skin and things that you can do to like prevent that because I do use this because it's gentle enough for me to use in combination with my benzoyl peroxide which is what I use to like combat my acne when you use that type of medication you can't really use anything that has like um salicy salicylic <laughs> Just forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. But salicylic acid uh, with benzoyl peroxide is like a no-no. That's like too much. Let's see what else did I have in there. Any other acne medications like together, it just doesn't cut it. So that's why I just decided to pick this up one day. I think it was like this past spring. There's like a lot of different things going on. Finals, I was in a pageant. My skin was telling on me because I was breaking out in my cheeks. I really break out in my cheeks and I scar in my cheeks. So I was breaking out a lot and it was really difficult because I don't really like to wear makeup that much every single day. And it got to the point where I feel like I had to wear makeup because I didn't want you know, my skin showing. So I decided to pick up this cleanser. It was only like $5, I feel like. And I love this cleanser, it's so great. I really love this brand. I want to get like all of their products eventually. I'm definitely going to make sure that I link like their whole entire website to you guys at the bottom so you guys could try it. I think that anyone, even if you don't have acne prone skin, you can still use their products. It's natural, it's healthy, it's budget friendly, and just pretty much all around amazing. The first thing I ever tried was the Seriously Shine Free Moisturizer and I'll move on to that next. I kept using moisturizers that were too oily or too heavy. And it was frustrating me because my makeup would just like slide off my face. And that's already hard enough when you're dealing with this southern heat. So every single time I always put it on. It's always so light. It dries clear because it's kind of like a milky. Like a milky conditioner that I use for your hair. But it like dries clear. It definitely like absorbs all the oil. So it's definitely perfect for when I'm about to go out or it's nighttime. I don't really have to worry about like the sun beaming on me. So it can just help me stay matte all night so I don't have to worry about blotting or like wiping my whole entire face of makeup off in the middle of the night. So I love that one. Um, I'm always going to get this one no matter what because I did switch over to a different moisturizer that they have which this one is called the Picture Perfect Day. And it is a daily moisturizer that has an SPF of 15, which is good because the medication that I use, I have to make sure that I have a sunscreen in it to prevent like the any of the dark circles or dark spots that I have from getting darker through the sun. So it has SPF 15 and guava and vitamin C in it. And it says, this lightweight moisturizer provides hydration and sun protection in one. The superfruit guava refines pores and promotes clear skin, while vitamin C moisturizes and smooths. An everyday must-have for perfectly protected and balanced skin. And then it has like some ingredients on the back, which is basically um, sunscreen. But I picked this one up compared to my Seriously Shine Free one because I wanted something that was heavier. I kind of just contradicted myself actually because I said the reason that I really like this one is because it was lightweight, which is true, but I use this more in the summertime and also like during the day. So if I wake up and wash my face, I'll use this one during the day. My not one during the day so I can know that my face will, will not be getting like oily and pooly throughout the day. But if I'm going to sleep, I will use my picture perfect day one because it's a lot heavier it's like a sunscreen consistency so it's a little bit heavier like you put it on you can feel it um, so for people who have dry skin like I know my cousin she has like normal to dry skin and heavy moisturizers kind of bother her um, this one is not as heavy as my Aveeno one that I used to have I can't remember what it's called but it has like the yellow cat that moisturizer was heavy like you felt it on your face but it also kept kept my skin so moisturized to the point where i didn't even get oily anymore but yes yeah, so this one is a little bit heavier which is why i use it at night time but whenever i wake up it's not like i'm oily or anything like i'm crisp i'm clean i'm ready for the day so i would still recommend this to people who have oily skin maybe even normal to dry you just kind of have to see for yourself it's still lightweight but it's just heavier than my seriously shine free one so that's something to think about
So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not like the most perfect person that takes care of my skin. Like sometimes I slack off. But recently I watched a video. I can't remember her YouTube name right now. But I know her real name is Alyssa and I love her. I follow her on Instagram, Alyssa Forever. She did this video about her skin, how she has like acne prone skin and what she does to combat it. And it's basically been like this simple process where you use a gentle cleanser the acne medication and then a moisturizer so that's what I've been doing these past couple of months and I can't say that my skin has improved a lot I can tell when I slack off but I think the main thing for me is that I have to be consistent like I have to do it every single night or consistently over a long period of time it's not really something that I can oh I'm not gonna wash my face for like two days or I'm not gonna put my medication off for two days I'm gonna break out so that was something that I used in this new regimen that I saw on her channel, but I only use my toner sometimes. I don't use my toner all the time. I mainly use it during times where it's like, I've had makeup on all day and I wanna make sure that I get it all off. You'll be so surprised when you wash your face and you go back with the toner, how much dirt you're still getting off. And this is with even some of my most high-end cleansers. It's just like, you know, our skin is basically like a sponge. It absorbs a lot of things. So you kinda have to go through a couple of washes to make sure that you get everything out. And so I definitely like to use this as a toner. I also use Bragg's apple cider vinegar. That's the apple cider vinegar that has like the weird little floaty stuff at the bottom. I use that as a toner as well. It stinks really bad. So most of the time I use it when I'm at home. Yeah, it stinks. It really stinks bad. But I love it. It really cleans out my skin. So I'll use that sometimes, but it's usually only when I need like a nice, good, down to the deep parts of my skin cleaning. Like if I really want to get a nice, good cleaning for my skin, then I'm going to use um, a toner and combination of everything else. So I don't really use my toner every single day. I don't want to dry my skin out. So they have another toner as well that can be used as a cleanser. I believe it's orange. But I haven't tried that one yet, so hopefully I'll be able to try that in the near future. And the last product that I am going to cover by Formula 0.0.6 is the Wipe Your Face Off Makeup Removing Wipes, which has pink grapefruit and apple in it. I love this because the packaging is so cute. It's like such a cute little pack. As you can tell, it's like practically flat. I've like used most of it. Um, but these wipes have pink grapefruit and apple in it, which pink grapefruit is perfect for like trying to get rid of acne scars, spots, all that jazz. And it says wipe away the day to reveal a fresh complexion. These ultra soft wipes gently remove makeup, mascara, and lipstick. Refreshing the skin, there's no need to rinse. Infused with exfoliating grapefruit, cleansing apple, calming chamomile to clear pores, balance blemish prone skin and it's perfect for a quick cleanse. They're a must have for a girl on the go. And I am a girl on the go. Now I'm not gonna say that using wipes is like substitute for washing your face because it's not. These are all items that you guys should try. I'm gonna link them all below so make sure that you go check them out. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much. Um, make sure you click to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!